This election cycle, access to the city's boat ramps has been a hot topic. Some fear the city wants to close the boat ramp at the city marina as part of downtown's revitalization. As News 13 Jake Holter tells us, commissioners passed a resolution this morning promising to keep the downtown marina boat ramp and St. Andrews Marina boat ramp open to the public. We want to make sure that we're keeping boater access open for everyone, and so this is this is a great step in that direction. In response to an outpouring of public comment, Panama City Commissioners have put in writing their dedication to keeping the city's boat ramps open. I've never thought about having a resolution to vote to keep a boat ramp open because it's already open. But then I realized it really wasn't that, it was the fear of it closing. And what could we do as a commission to make sure that uh, people have some level of peace and that we can, you know, make it have intentions of a commitment to keeping those boat ramps open. The rumor of the boat ramp closing, specifically the one at the city marina, has become a high profile issue. The question was raised during a recent live debate between incumbent Mayor Greg Brudnicki and his challenger, retired Dr. Michael Rowan. If the city tears that uh, civic center down, they're going to get rid of the boat ramp. You can take that to the bank. It's, it's part of their overall plan. Well, the mayor just said that he won't do that. You're calling him a liar? Yes. He's wrong. Well, that, uh, no. Well, how can I'm you not, know that in advance? He has said at the commission meetings that he'll get rid of the boat ramp. I have if, not if, said that. That is a bloody says, lie. While supportive of the resolution, one Panama City resident told commissioners they still need to do more. Parking is an issue. The St. Andrews Marina has been, had a uh, boat ramp for years. I think they're down to 13 parking places. If we don't put anything in there about parking on the city marina, it doesn't mean anything. Commissioners immediately voted to include dedicated parking into the resolution. We want to make sure we preserve at least the parking we have left there with obviously the idea that we're going to be able, you know, a vision to have a parking garage at some point and open up more boat park trailer parking uh, in the future. This addition includes 50 dedicated parking spots at the city marina and 13 spots at St. Andrews Marina. In Panama City, Jake Holter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Commissioners also stress they want to continue expanding water access in the city. Once complete, Snug Harbor Marina will feature the seventh boat ramp. The goal is to have 10 boat ramps across the city.